The North Carolina Aquarium at Fort Fisher is currently hosting a unique exhibit for an aquarium. Producer Rick Sullivan says the exhibit has really gone out on a limb for this one. You're about to meet dozens of colorful little birds called Flora Keats. If interactive exhibits are your thing, then the North Carolina Aquarium at Fort Fisher should be high on your checklist of things to do this summer. Fish and other marine life are often the stars of any visit, but some tiny temporary visitors, parrots from down under, are adding an extra appeal right now. We have both lorikeets and lorries, and we have about 11 species in our exhibit. The lorikeets are a bit smaller. They get about 10 to 12 inches, whereas the lorries get up to 14 inches. All of our 11 species are from Eastern Australia, New Zealand, and New Guinea and those birds are native there. They're very colorful birds with reds, yellows, blues, and greens. And in our exhibit, you can get an ID card and you can ID all of those birds as you go through our exhibit. You can also become a bird's best friend. For $1, you can purchase the secret recipe for successfully throwing a bird bash. It's a cup of nectar, and once you have it, you need only show up to be the center of attention. One of the best ways to get the birds to come to you is to have nectar and be relaxed. So the birds in our exhibit sometimes have the people trained where they know that if they wait long enough, the person will hold out the nectar for them and they don't have to get off their branch. But if you get just right in that perfect spot where they have to reach just enough to get your cup, they'll come over to you, walk all over your arms, your hands and your shoulders, and sometimes even land on your head. Be sure to hold on tight. Some of these birds can be possessive about their food, they're not bashful about asserting themselves among friends or even the hand that feeds them. <laughs> yes, there are birds that will come over. These are very curious and friendly animals. So being able to come over and if they want something, they will take a cup of nectar. And sometimes if you don't have a good grip, they can pull it right from you. And they might even dump it on you. Which reminds me to mention that it's a good idea to bring a second shirt along for this visit because accidents do happen. So how do birds come into play at an aquarium? Well, the story of the lorikeets and lorries actually fits the mission of the aquarium quite well. One of the great things about birds is it is able to allow us to tell our story of conservation of wild animals in wild places. Here in North Carolina, we have a wonderful diverse ecosystem with many different kinds of animals and plants, and lorikeets allows us another way for our visitors to be immersed in an experience, to feed a bird, to get up close and personal, and to feel an appreciation for animals that are all around us. Lorikeet Landing is adjacent to the main complex of the aquarium in a special area of its own, a garden setting worthy of exploring on its own merit. We are uniquely situated to have a wonderful butterfly garden here. Pollinators are a really important part of our habitat. If it wasn't for pollinators, we wouldn't have many of the flowers and fruit and vegetable species that we um, know and love. So here we decided to do a native pollinator garden to attract butterflies and birds. So when you come here, and even before you start your lorikeet experience, you will see lots of native plants that have bees and bugs and butterflies and birds all using uh, pollination to help our plants grow. And they produce nectar, the secret to your successful visit with our little feathery friends vacationing this summer only at the North Carolina Aquarium at Fort Fisher. I'm Rick Sullivan for North Carolina Weekend. The North Carolina Aquarium at Fort Fisher is at 900 Loggerhead Road in Curie Beach. The lorikeets will be in residence at the North Carolina Aquarium at Fort Fisher until this fall. You can find out more about them or purchase tickets to see them at ncaquariums.com slash fort fisher. The hours of operation for the Fort Fisher Aquarium are pretty easy to remember, 9 to 5 every day year round.